Beware of behavioral biases in currency management. Welcome to CurrencyCast. My name is Augustine McKinley, and Senior Financial Writer at Cantox and your host. In this episode, we explore behavioral biases in currency management. Behavioral biases are systematic or unconscious errors that result from the mental shortcuts that we all use when making decisions. This episode is sponsored by Integrated Finance, API-first fintech infrastructure you can build on. They were made famous by two Israeli psychologists, one of whom, Daniel Kahneman, the well-known author of Thinking Fast and Slow, went on to earn a Nobel Prize in economics. We reveal how the use of FX automated solutions can go a long way in helping currency managers mitigate some of the most damaging behavioral biases. Here's a list, by no means exhaustive, of some of the most common behavioral biases in currency management. Conservatism bias. The finance team may be too slow in updating their beliefs when confronted with new evidence. This might lead them to restrict investment and constrain the future of the company. The forward rate bias can be described as a tendency to view a large interest rate differential between two currencies as an opportunity for an easy financial gain rather than a sign of impending risk. Overconfidence bias. When managing currencies, feeling unrealistically sure about themselves can lead managers to speculate in currency markets. Finally, the bias of loss aversion occurs when managers take too much risk to avoid what they see as a painful loss while at the same time being too risk averse in the face of favorable market opportunities. Of all the behavioral biases just mentioned, conservatism bias might be the most damaging. Despite the evidence showing that currency management, thanks to technology, is not the resource-intensive activity it once was, firms that do not update their beliefs and stick to just a handful of currencies might face subpar economic performance. The forward rate bias, in turn, creates reluctance to hedge currencies like the Brazilian real, because its high interest rate translates into a deep forward discount against the likes of the Swiss franc or the euro. The bias of overconfidence shows up mostly in currency forecasts. This might well turn out to be accurate during a year or two, but then disaster inevitably strikes. The bias of loss aversion manifests itself mostly in financial modeling. and protecting the budget rate with conditional orders, setting stop-loss orders at too great a distance from the spot rate creates markups that may put the firm's competitive position at risk. Currency management automation can go a long way in mitigating behavioral biases. Powered by carefully defined business rules aimed at removing systematic errors, automated FX hedging programs allow treasurers to remove currency risk with great precision, making it possible to foster growth by embracing currencies. Meanwhile, delaying hedge execution with static and dynamic conditional orders is a great way to ease concerns about the high cost of hedging in the face of unfavorable forward points. This realization will help companies do away with behavioral biases in currency management. Thanks to Integrated Finance for sponsoring this episode.